our good friend, retired circuit court judge Mary Shanowski joins us yes. today. Welcome. Yeah. Mary, Mary, pump it up. So let's get feisty. A Utah <laughs> woman is facing criminal charges for being topless, but it was in her own home. Have a look. A Salt Lake City woman said while she and her husband were installing insulation in their home, they stripped off their shirts to get the itchy materials off of their skin. Then in walked her three stepchildren. The woman said she told his children that this isn't a sexual thing and tried to make the point that it shouldn't be any different from seeing their dad's chest. The woman is now being charged with three counts of lewdness involving a child, could spend time in jail, and be put on the sex offender list. Was this stepmother out of line, or are these charges too harsh? All right, so two elements to this. The first one I want to address is the legal one, Judge Mary. Um, <laughs> I could went, be topless in your own home. Like, could she you be in be trouble able here? To go topless in your own home? I agree. <laughs> and, and and what's you know the argument here is that it's discriminatory. But I read the statute, and the statute sounds really vague because it says you can't do under under circumstances which will cause affront or alarm. What the heck does that mean? Affront or alarm to anyone that sees it mm -hmm. or oh, the so child people, in this. It's instance. an affront to their. Morality to see. I think we don't have all the facts either on this case because there are questions as to. Oh, there are you know, so did many the kids questions. Just walk in. Was she out there showing them everything? You know. Yeah. There, there are some around? elements to this that are very bizarre, but it is crazy to think that you could be topless in your own home and yeah. end up with uh, 10 years on a sex offender registry. That's bad. That that's intense. Yeah. But I do think it highlights another issue, which is this is a stepmother right. who is shirtless in front of three kids. Yeah. Is there potential for psychological trauma there, or does it get back to depends on the circumstances? And at that I think, age. Yeah, well, I think more than anything, there's an ick factor when it's a stepmother somehow rather than a biological mother. But either way, these children are 9, 10, and 13. And you are allowed to walk around in your house sometimes dress in certain ways or not dress in certain ways, as long as it's not sexualized, mm -hmm. and as long as you do it in a body positive manner. And you should have already taught these children anatomy. So it shouldn't really be the sexual thing. I mean, this is completely blown out of proportion for well, me. It sounds like a mother versus stepmother. Oh yeah, that's exactly the issue. Yes. It's the issue between stepmom and right. mom. I'm gonna get her. And she's using the kids right. as a yeah. pawn. Okay, we, we, we do have to go to break, but where do you draw the line in terms of nudity in the home? Is there... Um, because there are certain homes where everyone's walking around nude and right. everyone's comfortable. There are other homes where everyone's covered up. Is there a line? Is it, or is it just when it starts to get sexual? There, yeah, definitely the sexual thing is a line. The other thing is just social norms. I mean, yes, maybe in your home you're a little bit more loosey goosey, but you got to consider the future and you got to consider the kid's social life. So if they learn that you know your entire family is basically a nudist colony, how's that kid going to deal with that? And well, how are they going to deal with their friends? So basically, what you're saying is, nudist too. I walked yeah. over here to stage. I'd taken my wedding ring off um, this morning, and and I forgot my wedding ring. What you're saying is, if you over normalize nudity. Kid gets on the school bus like, I forgot my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> it's so normal in my oh, house. Not, oh my God. Oh, I'll yeah. be right back. Hey, bus driver, hold on. Yeah, I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to pull a prank. It's just how things are at my house.